IO Interactive. <sighs> it's about time. I've been waiting for this for a while, and now I can complete this channel with with peace. Okay, people, I am proud to say, welcome to my Hitman Three walkthrough. It's been it's been all my need to do was after I finished Hitman Two, I was waiting for Hitman Three, because it was announced that year the Hitman 2 or a little bit after but yeah I was glad that Hitman 3 we were getting a conclusion for the storyline I've been I've been so hyped for it and I've been looking at the reviews I am I, I I'm hyped for it I'm too excited to talk more so let's get started Bon Appetit, or the season of gluttony. Well, so it's about to expire in a few few minutes. Wait, feature contracts by Screen Brands? Huh. That's better. I don't think anybody cares. Alright, to buy. My fiance is going to be excited to see to buy. I'm going to ask her if this is accurate. I'm very, I'm very excited about this. Oh, snap. It's going to let us play the very first one. All the way to three. Wait, story side mission. But wait, do we have to buy Patient Zero? Oh, okay, so we have to buy it. And the bonus mission we have to buy. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, contracts and Sniper Assassin. From the second game, yeah. This music sounds deliciously evil. I'm very much excited about this. I'm, I'm so excited. So, so excited. Yeah, we're covering on the Hitman 3 because this is complete edition. Well, not the DLC, but the main story-wise. I can't believe that we're going to get ends in this. I didn't think we would, but here we are. I'm just showing you all the neat stuff that we're seeing. You can even play the very first one, so... I mean, I already have it, so... Nothing new. But just the fact that you can play the first one all the way through the third one is pretty awesome in itself. I remember these missions. I remember all of them. I remember all of it. They were they were all fantastic to play. Maybe there was one from uh, Hitman One I didn't enjoy, but enough talk. Ooh, yeah. I want to make sure there's no subtitle. So tell us, awesome, it's off. That's what I want it. That is so what I want it. This game knows me. Greed, sloth, gluttony, pride, lust, um, and wrath. There were seven, we definitely sins. Seven deadly sins. I feel like I'm missing a sin. 
But anyway. So I'm proud to start this campaign. Let's do it. Oh, they're going to give us a recap. Yeah, I mean, I'm very familiar with what happened before, but I don't mind getting a recap. I don't mind. I'm very pretty spun on what I'm looking forward to. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. I don't think it's simple as that. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. As always, he's a real dick. I'm very familiar because I played Tinder Sequences, so I'm very... I'm very interested in the story because I played the story. I played the first two, so any references they make in Hitman 3, I'm going to get. My friends played it, and he very much thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm, I'm happy to show him of what I think about this game. Anyway, let's do it. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought. Until now, after decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant. Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? Jeez. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination 
is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War, and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. I'm excited. All right, time to plan it again. Definitely casual. I'm not that good, like I always say. And I'm glad for anybody who stuck out with me or stuck it with me with this, um, the Hitman channel, because it's been a while since I last did this. So I'm excited to do this again. Yeah, definitely fiber wire. Dang. Alright. That's okay. I'll make do. What challenge system we got? Well, you know. And we have mission stories? Yes, we do. Like always. These are all fun missions to do. As always. Let's do it. Now I'm very curious to see how this plays on the PS5. Because it was made for the PS4, but also the PS5. The loadings must be crazy fast. Plus you can play this in VR. So I'm kind of curious on how that will go. Welcome to Dubai, Fortison. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. Paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite. Security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, yep, we're in Dubai. Dear gosh, that is a drop. Don't look down indeed. I'm gonna ask my fiance. She's she's been there, so I wanna know how crazy tall if there's a place called the Skepter, uh Spectre. And it's the building is this tall, because wow. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. This is so high, and it's crazy. Wow. I'm on top of the world by Magic Dragons is not, couldn't be relevant until now. That is high up. This is going to be a fun level. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it so much. I know I am. <laughs> this will be so fun to do. your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. 
Scan the lock, huh? Oh, okay. Thank you. Classic Hitman. But in the best way possible. The level of scale is crazy good. It's amazing. It's so amazing. I'm out of my I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I assume here the music got better. It was still good, but not like epic like this. Yeah, okay, R1 still that kind of splitter cell or uh, I guess Eagle Vision. There's definitely a bunch of cars, but there's one of my targets. Where's the other? Yep. Far apart, but close. Man, with the Pulse 3D headset, it just fit, adds it. A level of immersion. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna wear the skydiving. Still got suave taste, Agent Forty Seven. You know how to. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. Thank you kindly. I'm dressed to kill. <laughs> so funny. Now please, be my guests and celebrate. And thank you. Piss off. I'm enjoying the golden architecture. Man, the amount of scale is crazy. Can I manually say? Yes, I can. Sweet. I'm gonna ask my fiance. I'm gonna ask my fiance how accurate the building structure is. I know they wear garb like that, but. Wanted to say, that was a wonderful speech, Your Highness. Oh, please. <laughs> and the voice acting is still top notch. The level design has very is improved. It was already amazing, but now it's just pitch perfect. This is like what Hitman wanted to strive for, but they didn't have it. They didn't have the budget yet, but now they had the budget, and now we're in Dubai. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. I can't wanna do it. Let's do it.
Yeah, it was that one. Once again, Agent 47 has stylish gear. He pulls off the fancy suits very well. Really wish I could pull off the fancy suits that well. Once again, Agent 47 has swagger. you with a viable route to the server room. I'm down. I want to I'm curious of where this mission story is going. After the brilliant mission story that it was introduced for Hitman 2, I'm I'm very excited to do it. I'm all for it. Cuz I always have fun with them. There was always a story to tell. Hmm, I wonder if we're allowed. If this is what Dubai is like, dear God, I would love to visit it. You know, even with COVID restrictions. Well, I guess it's a little hard with COVID restrictions. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four seven zero six. Four seven zero six. Four seven zero six. Got it. I think I can memorize that. Zero six. Hopefully nobody's here. It's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Very. Yeah, did I say? Because I'm excited. All right. So that will cause. The gameplay hasn't changed. It, it's still the same, but the level design has gone in more expansively awesome. I'm glad they're not using the comic book visuals, not like Hitman 2. I, I, I couldn't... Well, it wasn't like... Uh, it wasn't bad, but the comic book visuals, I, I, I couldn't get behind it, and me and my friend have to agree. But I'm glad they went back to CGI, but it's not like the best graphics. Which raises the question, why couldn't they not use the cinematics from Hitman 1? I, I feel like it should have been brought back, but I ain't complaining. We got... We got expansive and huge amounts of area. I ain't complaining. into another meeting, so now we've got to memorize new lists of guest names, passwords for the terminals, and new special clients. It's good to be back. So good to be back. Hmm, here you. Gonna sleep, gonna sleep, gonna sleep. 
Uh, I'm gonna take your disguise now. Groovy. All right. So we just gotta get past and make sure we're not detected. Right. Like Hitman 1. You, you can't get close to him, otherwise you're detected. Okay, we just gotta get past there. The gameplay customization is still awesome. Alright, let's close the door. One thing. Ah, I should have got, got that weapon. Let's grab the weapon. Close the weapon. There you go. I got it all planned out. I know what to do. Wow. Yep. Shit, you are the man. Screw you. <laughs> Get over here. I could not plan it well. Sorry if I'm putting you in the trash can. Sorry, lady. This is awesome. This is... Alright. Right, the camera. Where's that coin? No, leak the weapon. Well, instead, I actually better take the weapon. Yeah, I better take the weapon and, and then toss it somewhere. Same as the wrench. Don't leave it. All right, let's go. Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Park. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building, and can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. I can't hear the dialogue, actually. No, I'm trying to actually hear the dialogue. Let's turn the music down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And that'll work. That is so cool. Oh, right, the camera. Uh, but we can leave the gun. I I'd rather leave the gun. And let's leave the... No, no, no. We'll take the wrench, at least.
Yeah, but we're in kind of... server room. Alright, he's moving. Go for it. Dang it. Actually, perfect. Yeah. From Hitman 2. Oh yeah, he's coming. Someone's gonna come. I think somebody's coming. Still no one, huh? Really? Never mind then. Okay. All right, two guards. This is way too easy. Well, it's on easy difficulty, but man, everything is so stylish. Alright, wait for this guy, and then we'll choke him out. This guy's not gonna be interrupting. Wow. We might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. That is why I got the coin. This is exactly why. The coin is so useful. This is a gamer's paradise. The Hitman series. The new reboot. That was so stylish. So clean. That was tight and clean. I could technically carry the gun, but I don't have to. No point, uh... Well, technically, I could carry the gun. Yeah, I, I guess I could. Gosh, this is so such a fun story mission. I kind of want to leave a serpent... Uh, serpent. Uh, separate, save, just so I can replay this level. I might replay this level.
I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be excited. Because I had so much fun with the first two, so this is just... This is just like putting it on uh, comfy shoes again. Alright, so where's the server room, actually? Server room, server room. I feel like it should be here. If I was a server room, I'd either be all the way upstairs or down. Six nine two. He said six nine two seven. All right, Eva evacuation protocol, huh? That might be important, but let's try to find the server room. Exploding golf balls. Didn't we do that bit in Hitman 1? Is that a callback? I feel like that's a callback. Alright. Server room. Doesn't look like anybody's here, so I can just enter in. That was easy. This is really easy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so from what he's telling me, it looks like we're going to need somebody who...
see here. Online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Okay, good to know. That was intense. So we're gonna steal the key card. Maybe I can talk to this guy. Do I really want to just talk to this guy? Dang it! Ah, I screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. Wait a minute, I have like a... a wrench. I could have threw it at them. I just realized that. Man! I had a wrench. I I really could have. What's I think about? It. Damn it! The alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, forty-seven. Okay, this time I'm going to save because I did get catch from that janitor. Yeah, I'm okay to overwrite that save. So we got to hit the other person with a wrench so there's no witnesses. I, I think that's a good idea. There's a lot of witnesses this time. Maybe I could just talk to him. No chance there's this time. All right, cool. Are you doing? Crap. I should have hit her with a hammer or a wrench. I just realized that. I gotta plan it out. I gotta observe if she's not nearby. That's one thing.
Or I could do this. And be done with it. Huh? Hey, why don't you go check that out? Absolutely. Bingo! She just hit that the entire time. Hey. Hi. Excuse me. Huh? No witnesses. I need no witnesses. Key card. Taking my coin back. And the. Wait, what key is this? Oh, maintenance key again. That was a smooth operator. Okay. Smooth operator. Okay, I'm done. I mean, I was a smooth operator. I. I messed up twice, but. Then I thought about it real quick on the fly. I was just like, all right. So there was a jail there right there. So don't get caught. Make sure to. Skulls. What's with the skull? Is this professional? No, no, probably not. All right. Let's do this. Maybe we need the camera. Okay, maybe... Same with camera. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Building cameras are now disabled. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That's deliciously evil. I'm out. Going in. Greetings. Go. Greetings. Man, this mission, this mission story is awesome. I, I am very much enjoying where it went. Let's see what I did. I climb the specter. I don't know if that's real. In Dubai. I had to ask my fiance on this one. And I'll Google it. I'm, I'm willing to ask her. For the specter. Climb the specter. In a very cool, kind of like on top of the world, kind of breathtaking moment. That was awesome. Pulled off like my emergency fancy suit. Hacked a uh, kind of like a secret door. Climbed the tower again. Took out a few people. Disguised myself as a... As an employee. To a guard. And took also maintenance some um, keycard. To disable a mainframe. Or a server room. 
and gain admin access. All in a day's work. Maybe my royalties. I'm guessing that's the lounge. At ease, men. I got killing to do. to be alone then you can activate the room's lockdown feature shoot good thing i saved good thing i saved so killing two birds with one stone will both of them arrive at the same time Wow, this is high up. And I'm I'm not disappointed. I'm going to have to ask my fiance just how big the structure were. Anyway. No need to panic. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Why? Just wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow. I got it. That's the dining room area. Two of us are stationed up here and below. Got by the car miner. I get an alert. Just a minor setback. I will just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Cool. Uh huh? No, but I've known this man for a long time. Who is that? Call us up here without Come in. I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate. Yeah, hold on a minute. Dude, why are you here? It's pissing me off that he's there. Because I... I got him at the palm of my hand. My two targets. I got my prey. I'm like a lion. And they're in the lion's den. I am the hunter and they're the prey. I literally got them all boxed in. And then this one jackal is basically in the room with me. Oh, there's one of my targets. Finally, I just needed to time it right. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. I'm saving. I'm, I'm already hooked. Hey man 3, you already impressed me. I'm gonna give you such high score. I'm gonna give you a high score by the time I'm done with this game. I really enjoyed the first two, and this one is no exception, but I think this is going to be my favorite. Where is he? Where's the Sheik? It's a busy day for him. 
Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? What's up, guys? What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You. You're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. Give him a few minutes. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch him die. Uh. 47. Finish it. Finish it. And we're done. Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. What's on the body? I'm just gonna leave the knife in there. Perfect. I messed up. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh wait, I didn't have a silencer. <laughs> 